Hello and welcome again to the Internet Nobody's Podcast. That was awkward, but um, oh no, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate the the hustle. The hustle. Whatever. So, That's what my hey you don't you do that. That's my <laughs> thing. I do the do to do before the <laughs> intro. No, you don't do that. I do the do to do. World star. All right. World star. So, as you can hear, we're, we're all, well, most of us are here. So, uh, let's go around the table and see what we got. Hey, I'm Pete, and every licensed video game is just a platformer. I'm Dale, but I'm not. I'm actually internet celebrity Rob Lowe. I don't, why am I <gasps> here? Again. <gasps> the s- <laughs> what? The, the whole time? The whole time. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure. I've been 40% have been... of the podcast for the past two weeks, and you guys haven't even noticed it. Oh, my God. Hey, I'm ter- <coughs> I'm choking. I'm Terrell. <laughs> and our job is some bullshit in 007, Goldeneye. Goldeneye? Was Goldeneye? Yeah, it was yeah. Goldeneye. Yeah. And I'm Freddy, and I'm going to German suplex King Ghidorah. So let's get into the podcast. Oh, my God, that does happen. See, I'm the one who does it. Sorry. God, he's fired after the show. Oh my god, King Ghidorah does get suplex. We can't fire yes. the host, I can only complain. <laughs> All I right. forgot about that. I thought Freddy is the host. Yeah, no, he's That's why I just said. Me. I just said we can't fire. Yeah, we're those. firing you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a group consensus. Get out. Yeah, I already have two votes, so <laughs> respect. Three <laughs> percent. You know, I don't need to take this shit. I'm out. <laughs> All right, we can All right so now. we're down a person now, and we can talk about a now video 50% games. Fifty percent of the podcast. Fifty <laughs> <laughs> percent. They're multiplying. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Oh, he's I, back. I real, okay. I, real, I realized you, uh, I'm contractually obligated to be a part of this that for is at true. least the following. Um, what was that contract? Half my life? Yep. yep. Yeah. Shit. Three seasons. and uh, he's Six seasons, seasons you, and a that's movie. That's what you get when. Yeah, I was saying, I thought it was six seasons and a movie. Uh, and also a video game franchise, apparently. Mm-hmm, yeah. Which is what we're talking about today. So, we'll be talking about uh, licensed video games. And um, so those are always the best. Th- oh, of yeah. course. So what's what's uh, everyone's like go to? Is there one that you have that you're like licensed video games? Yes, this is this is the one that you got to play. Um, mm. I used to have a couple. That's for sure. Right now, it would probably have to be the the PS4 Spider Man. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I yes. heard that one was Actually, good. I'm actually playing that. I've, I haven't played. In I would. Like a week I would two, have to recommend. I'm in on that right now. Yeah, I have to back that one and also the Miles Morales game. Yo, which is the I same game. Let's be I sure. don't. I don't have that one, but I will be getting it. But, probably all right. For the so for a hot second, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm just gonna say that game. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of surprised me in some areas. Does Miles Morales finally say the word that we all hope and dream that he does? No, we don't get that moment. Oh fuck! But um, he so it's interesting because like Miles Morales, the 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 PS4 Spider Man Miles Morales game, they do some things that I didn't expect from them. Uh, I'm, in I mean, a you, you, you kind of have to like because like the first Spider Man game with Peter Parker kind of wraps up pretty well. And there's not, like, if you think about it, if you're using the same worlds, like, you know, New York City, and you're not changing much, you need to throw something in that's going to be big, I feel. Yeah. But, uh, like, the, 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 the big thing on this um, is that I feel like they do, they do, like, a good job at explaining, or at least showing that, like, My- Miles is still coming into the role of Spider- Spider-Man. Throughout the whole course of the game, you get to experience that. Um, but, the, but here's the coolest thing, and this isn't even about the gameplay, this isn't even about the story, this is just about this one small thing in the game that, that caught me by surprise, and I wholeheartedly enjoyed, is the fact that one of the NPCs that you interact with, uh, only speaks via sign language. Hmm. She, she is mute entirely, so she speaks via sign language. And... Does Miles know how to use sign yes, language? Yes, he does, because he took an ESL class. 
Oh, that's, oh. that's pretty awesome. So you get to see him and uh, you know him and her have like a conversation with sign language, um, and you get and they have subtitles so you know what's going on and stuff like that. But it's ve- it's interesting because I don't I can't think of a game it's that not had like the Quiet Man where it's just you see it you can't, you're not allowed to know what's happening. Exactly, <laughs> and I can't think of a like a, a of a game at the very least that has done this where you have a character um, that you interact with. That only speaks with sign language. Like, I've never seen that. In any of the games I've played, I've never seen this. So, to me, when I saw this moment, and it was a very small thing. It was literally just a side mission. But uh, she pops up throughout the whole entire story of the game. Like, you encounter her, like, maybe, like maybe a total of, like, three to four times. Um, but I really did enjoy her character, just because that was, honestly, a hella wholesome in, a, in its own way. Um... I just I just like seeing those things where it's just like you don't see something like this done in a game all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, but that game, uh, don't sleep on it. I do believe that is definitely one of the one of the good games out of the year. Nice. Once I get a PS5 eventually, it's on the four. Play My, Miles. Yeah, it's on oh, four. Yeah. So because one was just a five exclusive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nope. No, that, that's why I'm not getting There's the no five exclusive. Until... Yeah, ready. It's... Yeah. I haven't been paying attention because I wasn't yeah. getting one. I'm waiting until the yeah, slam I comes mean, the, out. Yeah, I mean, the one people, the one game that everybody's saying, oh, this is the real exclusive, is a PS3 game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, play it's your either. Demon Souls no, she's not. Let me, correction, she's game. not mute, she's deaf. I'm, I'm being dumb, she's not mute, she's deaf. Yeah. Okay. Same difference. I'm I was right. I was being dumb. I was being dumb. I have to apologize to people on that fuck up, but yeah. Um. All right. So yeah. The, yeah. I got to back Peter on that one. PS4 Miles. Uh. Miles Morales. Peter. PS4 Spider Man in entirety. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I think one of my go tos will be Into the Matrix just because I remember having like fun with that goofy ass game. Yeah. I never played it, but I hear that the ending they just went like ham with. Is that true? I hold on. Okay. Can, can, wait. Can I take ending. a time out for a second? Um. I had a Spider-Man, just staying on the Spider-Man thing. Did anybody have, like, because there's, there's been, like, a million other Spider-Man games. Yeah. I never had, like, Spider-Man 2, like, uh, the movie Spider-Man that, 2. That, but that, that was, was the I one did. that everyone else played. I well, did. Well, that was the best, that was legit the best Spider-Man until this one came out. Yeah, there, yes. was that, there was that one. There was the ones on the PS1 that people liked. But the one I had, I had Spider-Man on the Game Boy. I think it was just called Amazing Spider-Man. Excuse you? That what? sounds about right. Yeah, there was, was a like, Spider-Man it was game the on the Game Boy. the original Game Boy. Yeah. And I remember that. Like, I it was one of those games that you couldn't save. Uh, yeah, Amazing Spider-Man. That was it. Um, you couldn't save on it. And, uh, yeah, I remember I only got to, like, second or third level. And but that was just just I completely forgot about that game until now. Literally talking about Spider Man, I'm like, yo, I used to own that Spider Man game. <laughs> I will say you did remind me that there was another Spider Man I used to play all the time on the Sega, which was Spider Man and the X Men. Oh, I remember oh, that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was at your house. Yeah, it was like where you play as Spider Man for the first stage, and then once you beat the first stage, it unlocks like six X Men, and each X Men is a, a stage and. I was never able to beat all the stages, so I don't know what happens after that. But it was a lot of fun, regardless. Oh, that that so that Spider-Man game that I played was made by Rare, apparently. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Quality, quality. Rare, but it was published by LJN, which anybody who doesn't <laughs> know, uh, that was the mark of some serious quality. <laughs> no, they they were fucking. Garbo games. Yeah. Every ninety five percent of what they put out was hot trash, and it Wait, was all which, licensed. Which company? Actually, it, that's LJN. probably what the L stands for: is license garbage with a J because they probably couldn't spell N. <laughs> I don't know what the N stands for. Licensed garbage mm. Nintendo because it was back when every video game was called a Nintendo. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, but this one's on the Sega. Nope, Nintendo. It's still a Nintendo. <laughs> Yeah, if uh, actually, okay. it, here's yeah. If you guys just I go was, to the LJN I was Wikipedia I a, page, yeah, I was saying, scroll I gotta, through it and see which game you've played. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Because like, please tell me they didn't do the um, Batman game, and it doesn't look like they did. No, ba- uh, what the NES one? No, the Sega Genesis one. Uh, I don't know. Because mm. I was gonna say, I think the originals was done by Sunsoft. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 
good. <laughs> good. 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 I was, oh, that's, I that's was about good. to say, oh, don't my, tell me I'm about Oh to my this. god, I recognize this logo. Oh yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is the company responsible for the fucking video game crash. They made E.T. Did they? <gasps> they was it for e. LGN or was that what? actually Atari? Them just when I was Atari themselves. I thought yeah, no, I thought they no. were Atari exist back then. I don't think, dude. This. Oh no! Oh my God! It, oh wait, no, no that's it, a toy. That's a toy. It that's says a toy. L LJN was an American toy company and video game publisher based in New York. It says 1982. They they uh, published the E.T. extraterrestrial yeah. game. I'm this looking one? that E.T. on the, the Atari was made and published by Atari. Yeah. Yeah. They made really? in 1982. This... They made an E.T. toy. Oh, it's an E.T. toy. Yeah. Why is it? Oh, why scroll this... down. Scroll down. That's because they started as a toy company. Originally. Yeah. Oh, here's video games. Okay. Yeah, no, they started as a toy company. Yeah. Okay. You s I scared myself. But man. yeah, no. Yeah, because I was saying no. That was yeah, Atari. No. That had to have been Atari. Yeah. yeah that was Atari, and they did it in like five and a half weeks. Yeah, and it was just like, one guy. It's yeah, yeah. They were one trying guy. To, they were trying because they that, were trying to thing. Back rush in the day, it out. Video games were just made by like by one or like one, two people, maybe two people. Yeah, because they're trying to so. rush it out. They're trying to get out before Christmas or something. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly what it was. They wanted to get a game out before the holiday like, season. In high, like we we make fun of that game now because uh, okay, every, every fucking Atari game is trash. Go back ninety. No, they're all of the pretty bad. On the Atari are hot garbage. That's because there was no. We look at that and be like, oh, ET cause like ET is probably a, a, like w was mediocre the final straw. in the terms of Atari twenty six hundred games. ET was probably just the final straw. Yeah, it yeah. was because it was supposed yeah. to be big, and they made however many millions. Like, have you copies, seen pa but... have you seen Pac-Man on the Atari? Oh, it's it's really oh yeah. Bad. It can't it can't even run. It literally can't even run. But but yeah, no, there's a lot of worse games than ET on the Atari. Like that's why that's why I can't even go like I try like every once like cuz I have some of those like plug and play things with Atari games. There's maybe like one or two that I can go back to and be like this is still playable today. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them just, they're rough, man. They, and because you really needed to, like, you needed that art, you needed the artwork, you needed the manual, because you, you needed literally to visualize what mm -hmm. you were doing. Because guess what? If you didn't see, if you had no connection to E.T. the movie and you try playing that now, it, it it's just a mess of pixels. It's, there's no definition there. So you really, it doesn't mean anything to you. It's like, what are this? What are this? <laughs> what are this? <laughs> Make sure your ET is in a hot house so it may grow. <laughs> That's uh, a throwback. That doesn't even have to do with the video games, but I'm doesn't. appreciating that we did that. Yeah. <laughs> throwback like, to something that doesn't even exist anymore. I like, real quick, I like how this list I have of um, video games based on films does not have Into the Matrix on here. Well, you need to fix that. Yeah, that's... But, well, um, it's because Into the Matrix wasn't really necessarily based on the film. It, yeah, it was an inter, it was an intermediate sequel, yes, or side sequel, or however you want to call it. Because it was supposed to step in between like what two and three. Uh, because you don't uh, play, you don't it was play. It was definitely, it was like on, it was yeah, it was like half side halfway story through two, two, leading to three. I three, think. yeah, because mm -hmm. you don't play as like any of the like the ma the major major characters. You play as um, Sparks and Vector, I think. Did you not play as Ghost? Am I crazy? No, no, sorry. Um, it might be yes, Ghost you and are, Niobe. but that's beside the point. Yeah, yeah, it was them. Yeah, Ghost and Niobe. Yeah, Ghost and Niobe. Right. Yeah, it's look, man, it's been a while since I actually had to like figure out who who was who. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like the game was. So this 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 is gonna land in this in this podcast for the simple reason of it was basically based off of the, inter the Matrix in general. But um, it was an interesting way of trying to do like a side story that happens during the movie because they explain some of the stuff that happened in the movie with this game. But it's so funky, man. Because like, they try to explain like how they dr how they drop the power um, in like one area. So like, I guess uh, Neo could use the key to access some other shit. Which uh, Ghost and Niobe had to do, uh, do so. It, it, the game was weird. The game was really weird. I think there was like a few moments where you had like a one-on-one -on -one combat section with some people. Um, yeah. 
Sounds vaguely familiar. That, that game was, you know, and if you think about it, it was like, it's it wasn't just Enter the Matrix, because like, at this time, around this time of the second movie, that's when they put out like, so much other stuff too, like ma- like they tried to make the oh, Matrix, Matrix universe. Path of Neo. Ex- well, Path of Neo was after. That was like a couple yeah. years after. But, yeah, I mean, but, just in overall, it, like they yeah, even but they it did paved the, the way for that. at the same time, I believe. Uh, it, let me double check that. I think they did um, too. But yeah, it was like they did. They put out so much stuff that was trying to like expand the universe of the Matrix, but they tied too much of it into the story, kind of. Mm-hmm. And people really only like, well, like the Matrix because of Neo. Like the first one was like, all right, it's cool and everything, but it was just like Neo was the power fantasy of this dude's badass. He can stop bullets with his mind. But Enter the Matrix was cool. I liked it. Yeah. It was jank. It was really jank. But the it was it was were not good. But it no. was it was fun at the time. Yeah, it it really tried to like. It was a PS2 game, but like yeah. for how fast paced some of that some of that game was, the graphics just did not hold up in some regards. No. Like you could tell, yeah. but it was. I remember it, just even the beginning. I rem- like I don't remember much of the details of that game because it was just so long ago. But I remember even in the beginning, you're driving in a car and like you guys get like you uh, whoever your characters are get out of the car. The freaking tires are like in the ground. It wasn't even in the ground. They were like hexagons. They weren't even circles. They were hexagons. And I'm like, bro, really? This like, come on, S- round those out, boy. Yeah. Like, well, it's just like, yeah, like the game was like, it, like if they cleaned it up and re-released it now, like redid like all the graphics and shit, I think it would still be a fun game because of of like. I think I think they would still have to tighten up the game a little bit. Oh, they definitely. The would. Graphics were definitely the biggest. Th- cause the character models look good, but everything else was rough. Yeah. But like, but like I'm just so saying, like, like if like they what, just walls and the ground and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. Just because the I muddy think textures. They, they did like I'm pretty sure they did really heavy like uh, motion capture and like facial recognition and trying like get them. Well, they had to do a lot of but... like uh, in terms of the face recognition. I don't know how much they would have done, but the mocapping, uh, they would have had to have done a lot of mocapping for a lot yeah. of stuff in this game. Like so this th- game, yeah, there was I would say is like 85 of... percent mocap. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of like um, work put into the ge- like just budget that was put into that game, but they didn't put the budget in the game part of the game. They just put <laughs> the budget into the presentation, as uh, do most people do. I would assume. Yeah. Mm. Like it's kind of like how it's like if someone just puts all their budget into like marketing and the game is just a piece of trash. Yeah. yeah. Anthem. Yeah. 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 yeah Anthem. <laughs> All right. I wanted that to be Look, good. Like we, didn't, I mean, yeah, we didn't have to throw shots at that. We're not talking about regular games now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Whoa, we'll get to that another we'll, game. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Has anybody played that? No, I haven't. Nope. Because no. that would be a good segue. What is it again? The Avengers, the Avengers game, game, the one that's out, like just came out. The, last the one month. that. No, it's been like the thing is like th- I've had not, no that's reason. Not good at all. Yeah, I've heard very. I mean, I hear reviews. it's just boring. I hear it's like yeah, that's some right. people I, I, yeah, like I hear it. It's just boring. Like it's not even that it's just bad. It's just boring. And then when you add in like the fact that it was obviously just going to be a game that they're going to just pump out DLC for, mm-hmm. like costume DLC. A lot of people just kind of like eh. yeah. Um, I mean, they're trying. They said they're gonna try to re- rework the whole game. Yeah, now. because the amount, and that's the same thing with Anthem. That's the same thing with all these giant like games that come out and they pour hundred million dollars in, and they mess up, and then they're like, "Oh, we need to fix this because this is now a money pit." And mm. and so so like, and this is we're this is just me digressing off of the things. But like this is that would be like a good reason as to why I'm like I do think games should kind of take their time because like yeah yeah because the whole thing is they miss their window because the window where everybody was going to possibly buy it is gone they can only try to fix it and get a few more people in now yeah i mean the window's kind of been gone let's be real if they release this alongside of any game like it it, it could be the same game as it is now it would have sold double yeah straight up the, the the whole thing is, like, not only is it a bad time to release it, there have been no Marvel films this year because of, you know, COVID. the situation with yeah. the world. And, like, 
not only that, like, what did they say? Like, is Sonic is probably gonna win superhero movie of the year? Which I find hilarious. What? I'm, but I'm okay with th- that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog is gonna win like, like, a possibly gonna win like superhero film of the year because there was this is the first year in like a decade or so that they haven't released a Marvel film. I'm again, I'm okay with that, and that movie was actually really good. You know what would have been really funny is uh, if they release if if there was a release of a DC film and Sonic still wins. <laughs> uh, I mean, depending on what their cutoff is, Wonder Woman comes out yeah. uh, at Christmas, I believe. Yeah. Mm, it depends on what the cutoff is. is. I mean, Wonder Woman was one of the good ones, in my opinion, so it's possible. I don't know what the cutoff is, though. Yeah. Um, but anyway, back to the whole thing. I just found something very interesting. What's up? In Do tell. In 98, they did Aliens Online. There was an MMO for Aliens. Wow! Yeah, I, wow! Like, I'm surprised anyone's computer could run that. It yeah, was hardcore nerds, bro. <laughs> like that was the thing in the '90s. There was like a hard divide of computer player, like PC players and console players. Yeah. Nowadays, PC players are just console players, but they're like, "Oh, look at me! I have a TI thou one thousand in my computer, <laughs> and it can run everything at 8K." No, you're still playing and, the and same exact and games yeah. that are meant for yeah, yeah. And they're playing and Solitaire. Xbox. Don't yeah. think your shit doesn't smell. You're playing the same games that wouldn't exist if PlayStation didn't ha- <laughs> exist. Like, uh, but back in the day, in the nineties, it was a straight different platform. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. a total like. Because, like, I played, I played like, a lot of RTI. Like, I started with Command & Conquer. Command & Conquer was, like, probably one of my first few, like, PC games. Minus, like, all the educational ones. <laughs> um, but it's just, like, there was a reason to have, like, a console and a PC. Because, like, there were certain games that you could not play on console. At all. Like, Command & Conquer. I think yeah. they might have done a console release at some point, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, Command um, & Conquer, I think, I think on the 360. Early, I should say. One? No, that's on on the yeah, there's definitely on the 360 one. Yeah, like 360. You know that, that's thinking? a that's the early Diablo I on the PS one. Um, yeah, and then like again, like well, I don't think Diablo would have felt as good on a console as it would have on a PC. I think it's a, I I th- I think that's like a bad like a jank game actually. <laughs> the PS one version. Damn, but yeah, it's just again, like yeah, like know, you said, like, there is there was a clear PS, divide. Uh, PC gaming at the time. I w- yeah. I was still. I think that was the reason Ooh. why I'm a cross console player. Is because yeah. I grew up with the PC, but I did play on like every other console possible. So I didn't. I learned to love each thing for its own thing. But now it's like there's a there's a there's not even that divide anymore. The line is so blurred. But uh, so yeah, yeah in '98, made by apparently from '98 to 2000, um, hmm. this game made by Mythic and Kizmai was um. What was it? They're the developers? Yeah, and it was published by Fox Interactive. Okay. Um and hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to pull up the thing. Uh yeah. It was published by a Fox Interactive. Kizmai not only developed, but they also published it in Game Store. I, Game Storm. I don't know who Game Storm is off the top of my head. Um Oh, Mythic did uh Dark Age of Camelot. That yes. Was, that was pretty big when that was out. Yeah, that was going to be another one I eventually get to because I, I didn't even know there was a game for this. But Is this one kind of just took me off the uh, took me off because I didn't know that there was an MMO for aliens at all. And I'm kind of like looking at it right now and it's it's fucking Windows 98 could probably run this. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Well, well, yeah, it's a came out in 98, yeah. bro. I'm, I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, like I mean, like the early stages of Windows ninety eight. Like, not like this looks like it probably dropped as soon as Windows ninety eight came out, in my opinion. Uh, because there's not a lot of work to this, because it's literally just like your character selection is just like you choose the head of like I want to say a good number of the people that was in the movie. The body is a good number of the people that was in the movie, and same thing for the legs, a good number of the people that was in the movie. Uh, I don't even know if this mattered because it was a first person shooter. Hmm. So. I don't know, like, where they got the stuff from, because it looks like, it, um, like, you choose, like, one of four classes, infantry, heavy weapon, scouting, or medical. Clearly, medical is the healing, and yada, yada, yada. Um, oh, and, um, you have, like, these different statistics and stuff like that, like, strength, strength, what was it, strength, dex, 
intelligence or stamina. So it seems like it might have gotten some of its stuff from like an RPG, like uh, like a tabletop RPG. But I don't know what inspired this game. It just I saw this on the list. And I was like, hold the phone. Holding it. <laughs> Picking it up. Oh. Uh, so. Oh my god. Okay. So yeah, I'm also looking at a video of this as we're going, and you do have to use a motion sensor on in this game. Um, this is interesting. I gotta look. I gotta look, do a little bit of more looking yeah. into for this game. Yeah. Something but, like I I never played any of the Alien because I I was never really into like horror. But, well. Alien. I, actually, yeah, as a kid, I was into horror movies. I just was never into. Oh, like, you could series. also play as the the hate the uh, the alien hive. Excuse me. You could be Mister Alien. All right. Yeah, I got to do a little bit of research on this game. Um. Yeah, you can play as the aliens. Up, yeah. I just wanted to bring up uh, Alien Resurrection on the PS One. I don't know if anybody's played it. I have. No I not. have not, but I do remember that game. All I know is like in because I remember watching a video on it, and apparently that was like the first one that really used uh, dual thumbsticks for art for like first person shooters the way we use them now, where like where right is to look and left is to like move and strafe and stuff. Yeah, because and a lot the of the time, old because shooters... it was like the first one, it was so weird and people were like, oh, this is I don't know, I don't like this two thumbsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I like I feel like that makes more sense than the hit scan. Um I mean it, first person shooters were a wild time back in the day. Yeah, oh, yeah. The, it was yeah, everyone, the wild everyone, everyone, Golden everyone, was considered good back at this time. Yeah. There's, there's a there's a good segue. Odd job is played still some Golden High Ev- recently. Everyone, oh, yeah. that is everyone not here good. has everyone everyone here has played it though. I have it yeah. somewhere in this mess of a room. I'm pretty sure at least three of us have played it in the same room together. Yes. It's, it's like again, just looking at this. The it was it's an odd time for like the wild the wild west. First person <laughs> shooters were literally the wild west of video games back in the day, because yeah. like you started with like Doom, Quake, and a bunch of other ones that were like you just look in a direction and you fire the gun. It's you're gonna hit whatever is like essentially on screen. Um, as long as your gun is facing in the direction, it's gonna hit it. Yeah, exactly. Um, thus hit scan. Um, whereas in once like. I guess Aliens Resurrection, if that was the one that really like ventured in that direction first, uh, where you get the. I mean, well, I think Goldeneye was probably before Alien. Let's see, Gold. But I Goldeneye. But you gotta remember the N sixty four had the weird Alien controller, but it had one (laughs) thumbstick. Yeah, like that's why I was like, but did you really aim with that? Because like you had the thumbstick, and then you had to aim with the C with the C pad. Yeah, the Goldeneye game was ninety seven, so that was three years before that. So again, mm. so that's you know yeah again th- in three years you went from like you know whatever the N sixty four controller you went from you went from a to... you went from a nub and four buttons to dual analog yeah, <laughs> a nub and four from... buttons to two nubs yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, double nubbin God it's Good. just looking just going down this list of of video game movies or yeah video games based off of movies it's um in looking at the years that some of these games were made it's wild how far we've gone i i i want to bring up um like because there's a game out that came out like this year that's very similar to it like jaws when jaws was out on the playstation mm-hmm. uh i had like so much fun i didn't even do the missions i just had fun swimming around and killing people oh i know what game you're talking about um <laughs> like man, you literally just I... yeah yeah Maybe man eater came out this year and i'm just like this is just jaws but probably better because you don't start out over overpowered <laughs> this is just jaws without the story <laughs> Like the, I will say it was pretty funny because it was just the plot of the second Jaws where they just have Jaws in a shark tank and then he breaks out and just starts killing all the people at the aquarium. And then the Coast Guard gets involved and you got to, like, learn to cut. I'm like, how does this shark learn to cut the power? Come on. Hey, man, it was, he went to shark it, school. You don't, you yeah. don't, uh, he, don't, he went don't to, offend he him went, like that. He went to all. He went to Hammerhead High. It was fine. <laughs> yeah. oh, Hammerhead High. That's a good one, Pete. <laughs> tri- tri- Triple H, not the wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the power and how you cut it. 
But like I I like I remember when I I still kind of want to get Man Eater because it looks silly, but at the same time I feel like I would enjoy it a lot just because I I love playing. Bro, you should have bought it on Black Friday. It was like fifteen bucks in some places. Eh, um, uh, I'm not really spending my money on anything right now. Like for like I have a bunch of games. Fifteen I'm playing. bucks instead of going and getting a quesadilla at Senor Taco and destroying their furniture, you could have <laughs> just bought Man Eater. <laughs> Uh, you're probably right, but <laughs> the thing is, I'm not gonna play it anytime soon. I'm like, the thing is, like, I'm oh addic- yeah, he's he's, he's out and about during this time mm. of the year. No, I'm not out and about. I'm just addicted to Genshin. Yeah, that's uh, that's Nerd. beside the point, <laughs> right? We're, we're talking about licensed games, Freddie. What do you got for me? Cool spot, quick. Yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, what? What is it? Cool yes. spot. Cool Wait, spot. M- Cool spot. Cool you never spot. played Cool Spot? Oh, no, yes. I'm going to have to look this up. Yeah, Seven look up it up. Game? Don't even tell him. Don't oh. even tell him. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I have such vivid memories of playing that in, like, my doctor's in our dentist's office when I was, like, little. <laughs> That's Jesus a place to play these for sure. You know, oh, you, sorry. you mentioned, I've never you played mentioned this. Cool Spot, but, and but I Jesus vividly Christ. remember those old-ass, like, um... I'm not going to even say a case dance. It's like you have the console and a thing, and then, like, the controller is connected by this, like, thick ass, like, rubber thing to this giant Yeah, block. the demo uh, stations. Yeah, the demo stations. Yeah, that's what they were called. Dude, wow. That's <laughs> such a specific memory. I, I yeah. can't even deal with this right now. <laughs> yeah, there was yeah. tons of just, like, random tie ins to, like, food. Like, even Chester Cheetah had his own. Pepsi Man! Pepsi Man, yeah. Yo, Pepsi yeah. Man. That never came out here. That never came out here, no. <laughs> no, it's fine. We all appreciate the Pepsi Man. It doesn't yeah. matter. Oh, my God. But, oh, my God. But I have, I will say I've never played Cool Spot. Freddy, cool Spot why you gotta be doing decent. these things, man? This is, like, the <laughs> it, second it time looks like, you just uh, drop a look- thing and just blow my goddamn mind. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me ask you a question. And it was, like, what? a few sequels. What? Me- what? Yeah, can I, I ask, think so. Can I ask you a question? What's up? Uh, Freddy, uh, what kind of uh, genre was this? A uh, platformer? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Everything is a platformer. Yep. Almost, almost, uh, it goes back to my well, it argument. It did come back out in like the 90s, intro. so everything. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, no, like, that's the <laughs> yeah, thing. No. All, all licensed tie-ins are platformers back in the day, and that's all they were. I, I have one. I have one for you guys that's, that's, uh, just reminded me Fucking now that cool Freddy's talking about cool God spot. Damn it, <laughs> you guys man. go look up World Gone Sour. World Gone Sour. World Gone, Gone sour. sour. Is that like a sour kid or something? Just, just look it up. What the World. fuck? Is this really a Sour Patch Kids thing? It's a Sour <laughs> Patch Kids, Kids game. game. Oh my! I was yeah. right. <laughs> Out of here. Oh, look at that Metacritic score. Nice. IGN <laughs> gave it a 6.5 out of 10. Yeah, we we care about the average. The average is better. <laughs> wow, what the what actual? What, why don't you yeah, tell me 12. what the Metacritic wow. is while I look at this? Sixty nine. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's it is a Sour Patch Kids game. Can and I just like it, you know a, a sixty nine a... isn't bad for what could be like a super cringe game. Yeah. You know what? It kind of is, but they save but what's it, it about? because if I remember... Sour Patch a... Kids, that's all I'm going to say. That's what it looks like. Is, is it a platformer? Oh, uh, hold up. I'm pulling up a video as we speak. Uh, uh, according to this, it's a side-scroller. Side-scroller platformer, then. Yeah! Because Mario is a side-scroller. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's like... Okay, so it's like you put Pikmin, turn that into a side-scroller, and also add in platforming. Hmm. Because you also find smaller Sour Patch Kids that you have to throw at things. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think yep. I found out why Rob knows this. Because <coughs> he had the uh, announcement with Method Man. Is that why you know this? Is okay. it because he saw it on Daily Motion? <laughs> it, possibly. No, actually what happened was, true story, um, back when Sony actually did good sales mm-hmm. on uh, on their systems... A good flash sales. I remember they did a one day flash sale on the PS3 and they just put about like 50 rando games for a dollar each. Hmm. And I just bought like half of them because I'm like, 
yo, $25, I'm getting 25 games. I don't even, like, even if I play them all for, like, an hour. Yeah. You're still oh, my them. God. You so consume the smaller Sour Patch kits to increase your size. Yeah, you do. My God. It, that game is crazy. It's it's dumb. It's good. You know what other games were dumb? The Burger King games. <laughs> I never played. Oh, I, I yo, always, stop this. I stop this. <laughs> I forgot those existed. I never played them. I watched them, and it scared me. Yeah, Sneak, yeah. King. Sneak King, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never Sneak played, King. Um, it was a Big Bumpin', and I can't remember the other one. Uh, Big Bumpin', Sneak King, and... Didn't he have... Didn't, wasn't it like an arcade one, or like a Super Mario Party one, I guess? It was like a bunch of small party games. I don't... I don't remember. What? So I only played Sneak King. <laughs> You just, you just want to sneak up on people yep, and give them Hannah delicious burgers. burgers. That's all I wanted to do in my life. Yeah, oh. like, low key, it's it's that's weird. Like the the Burger King King is just straight up. Like I'm not gonna even say a stalker, but oh, he is in that that like, man that man has a straight twenty in his dexterity for plus like five and stuff. Pocket bike racer. Yes, that's what it was. Which, if I if I recall, was actually the only decent-ish one because it's just a racing game. Yeah, I, I didn't play the that one, so I can't really. Yeah, let's see. I, I didn't play, either, but I rem I think that one was supposed to be like the actual like kind of okay ish. Okay, so it's just Sneak King, Pocket Bike Racer, and Big Bumpin'. Those are yeah. the three games. I'm pretty sure they only made three. Yeah. 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 Me meanwhile, McDonald's was making actual movies. No, McDonald's has games. McDonald's game. made games too. Did they? Yeah, yeah. there is there is one very old one I remember. So um, uh, NES or Super Nintendo, right? I think uh, I'm NES. Ass McKids? I'm assuming okay. if it, McKids, I'm, yeah. I'm, ass I'm assuming if it was that old, it's probably also a platformer. Am I correct? <laughs> In assuming. Ow. Okay, wow. no, that's not the one I'm thinking of. But hold okay. On. But there was a few, that, like on the original Nintendo, and I think then it went to Genesis. I don't think I might be wrong, but I don't I'm, think everything it super. everything that was a licensed game flip flopped. Like mm. I can remember, like I didn't know. But yeah, all the Disney games went to Genesis. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, I had Aladdin on the Genesis. That was a great game. It was probably the only uh, one of the very few games I could actually beat. Oh, oh my god, God-ing. there was. <laughs> Lion King, I don't have that. I don't think I had any of the Disney games. I remember renting them at the time. I just I played um DuckTales. Mm. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, clearly DuckTales. <laughs> I actually owned DuckTales. I played the remake of that. The, uh, the remake Genesis. is really good. Yeah. I never played the remake. I, I had played yet. the original. Um, Was it Treasure Island? Uh, it might have been McDonald's Treasure Island that I remember playing. <laughs> I remember <laughs> playing a Ronald what was McDonald that on? game. What was that on? Uh, that was on the Genesis. Hold on, hold on. Time out. Uh, so a different version of the McKids game was published on the Game Boy, called also called McDonald Land. Outside of Europe, it was rethemed for the Cool Spot franchise <laughs> and released as oh Spot the God. Cool Adventure. That oh is my God! It's uh... gone full circle. Wow. Oh man, that's great! I love it. Yeah, it's hilarious how we literally just talk about things, and it turns out that everything is connected. Yeah, because the universe is connected, Pete. Yeah. I how, why do I remember playing this game? This is so weird. It's such a specific thing. Like <laughs> to know that Ronald McDonald had like at least two video games. Okay, Home at Improvement least. had a video game too, so it's like. Who? It's yeah, not, during, it's, during it's, those it's, '90s, man. Yeah, early, '90s early just went 90s. for everything. Home it's like how ne it's like how Netflix will give a TV series to anything now. Yeah, yeah. Netflix yeah. is the NES of movie. <laughs> oh my TV god! Shows. God. <laughs> um, has anyone here ever played uh, Jurassic Park on Sega or NES? Yes. No. Sounds familiar. I believe yes. you did. Uh, I loved that game because I got to play as a Velociraptor. Yes, yes, yes. And I got to eat little dinosaurs and people, and it was great. <laughs> and and I could beat that, like, because it was a two-parter. It was like mm -hmm. you could choose, do you want to play as a dinosaur or do you want to play as the human? If you play as the human, uh, you play as Professor uh, Grant, was it? 
I think that was so. And you as you play as Professor Grant after the tree incident with the with the the car falling out of the tree. Mm Mm-hmm. And you got and but thankfully it's just you and you don't have to worry about a kid and you have limited ammunition and it's like I said it's still just a platformer but when you play as the dinosaur you're on the hunt and all you do is like get to the end of the stage and eat all the like little dinosaurs and people along the nom, way nom, nom. and um, I'm pretty sure the final boss for the dinosaur was just Dr. Grant so it's super easy. But if you play, if you freaking play as the human, I could get to the final stage, could never beat the final stage. Because you fight a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's what I figured. As you should. Oh, God, yeah. No, you should be fighting the raptor because the dino- cause the T-Rex saves him at the end of the film. Yeah, the, the, the final boss for the raptor is Grant. Okay, so I was right. Yeah. I have, a real, I have an important question, though. Really important. What's up? All right. And, and it's, it's, you know... It's really important. Does it have the song? It does. Yeah, it does. Okay. It does. Because if yeah. I, if I that... were to play this game and it doesn't start off with no, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Then, then like no, I'm taking the cartridge. I'm throwing it out the window. <laughs> yeah, it has it. Like um. Oh no, I'm Pete. Pr- the final boss for Grant is the Velociraptors. No. Yeah. Maybe it just looked like a big T Rex. Because you Maybe. dropped the you dropped Baby I'm looking, Pete was I'm like all dinosaurs right look the same. I am looking Maybe. at it right now. The final boss the final boss is like two Velociraptors. Okay, so <laughs> uh, So it does come full circle. Yeah. He, here's one, because we were talking about PC games and I kind of and it rem- and I remembered it. Like I had a I was like, oh, and I, I'm going to break it up in the s- next second that we have an opening, and then we got uh, sent off a separate way. Mm. Anybody ever play the Alice games? Yeah, Like I Alice in Wonder? Like, Al- like Alice Madness? American yeah. McGee's Alice? Yeah, yeah, the first one was a- American McGee's Alice, and then there was the sequel, however long later, on the PS3. Yeah, and Return all that. to Madness, oh. I think yeah. it was. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it was a Madness Returns or Madness Returns, something like yeah. that. Yeah, no, yeah, I have not played any of those, but I do. I am aware of them. I think those my are... first crossing with that was because of G Four. Mm. Because mm. I saw a video about like Alice or something on like I guess Machinima Tech, oh, and I was just I like, "What is G4 this weird Alice so in Wonderland much. game?" Would that been was that the second one or I don't that was the first one? All right, yeah, because I'm trying to think. I'm like, was the first in my head? I'm like. Second one was way too, way like later. But the first one was like too early, maybe. And the first one not. was in the two thousands, but Machinima two thousand or two thousand one. Yeah, but Machinima Tech always played like a bunch of videos about video games, like Machinima Tech, Machinima Tech, Nocturnal Emissions always played like random clips and shit from video games, and oh, okay. I saw something from Al- American uh, American McGee's Alice. That's the only reason why I know how weird this game was, is because I briefly saw something about this game on G4, and I think like maybe a few years later it dawned in like it just showed up in my mind, and I was like, I gotta look this up because I don't know if I was just having a fever dream. <laughs> you, I mean, that game is a fever dream. Yeah, and then, yeah. I mean, at least the first one. The second one is more kind of the second one's the tame, sequel. and is more one's... of like a waking up, but the first one was straight up a fever dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was fun though. And on a non fever dreamish level, um, straight up Disney's <laughs> Alice in Wonderland on the Game Boy, uh, actually pretty nope. good. Pete, really? what kind of game is it? Probably, probably, probably platformer. Yeah, <laughs> I like good. that. Pete, what kind of game is it? <laughs> yeah, you just I mean, you can probably me. tell if, if it's like a, if it's like a cartoon or something like that. It's a platformer. Well, if it's on a Game Boy, if it's, it's... True Lies starring Arnold Schwarzenegger oh, Lord. on the Super Nintendo. It's a really good. I feel like either. I feel like on a Game Boy, the safe bet of platformer is always going to be there. Like, there's not a lot of games that weren't a platformer on a Game Boy. At least on the first. Yeah. On, on the advance, then everything just became RPGs. Hmm. Or card games. But speaking of RPGs on the Game Boy Advance, I, I like how I tried to seg you into True Lies on the Super Nintendo, but that's not happening. <laughs> uh, uh, Game Boy Advance, the Dragon Ball Z games, because I've actually just plugged in uh, Boo's, what is it called? Boo's Fury? Like I yeah. said, Goku 3. Uh-huh. Yeah, Boo's Fury. Fury. Uh, Fury. I Fury. have only ever played the first one, because, and 
I couldn't get past this one stage because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. It's not very clear. So I just kept killing enemies that would respawn, and I was way over-leveled. So I don't know... That definitely like, happens. Yeah, because it's, cause it's one of those old games where they don't tell you what to do. You just got to figure it out. Yeah, I think the first game I definitely had to look up on Game Facts a few times. Yeah, as much as I mm. like those, um, oh my god, Game Facts, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, before you YouTubed everything, you had to go, go to, to Game, game F. Fact. Game FAQs, <laughs> and then, you know, find an FAQ, and heaven forbid you played a game that doesn't have a full FAQ. Well, no, mm. well, alright, here's the other reason why that just kind of was a holy shit moment is... Hey, remember when games used to have like cheat codes that you can either discover or people found out about, and it just did some cool shit? Or they were shit. just in the back of the gaming magazines. Yeah, or they were in the back system. of the gaming magazines, or you could find things like uh, the cheat codes books or stuff. Like, remember when Game games Genie. were like pretty cool? Were fun. And yeah. fun. <laughs> and you can just use like random in game cheat codes for like bullshit reasons, where it's just like, yeah. I just, I, I've already beat this game like three times. But then it's just like, but there's like a bunch of cheat codes I can use to like get something new out of the game. Yeah. Well, I think one of the Prince of Persia games uh, actually has a cheat code that you could just make one of your weapons a giant fish. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. That's amazing. You see, it's like it's stuff like that. Like, sure, some of the games, some of the cheat codes like would break the game to the like God mode and shit like that. But then you got oh, the, yeah, then you get back, the goofy back to freaking Goldeneye, dude. You unlocked, you literally unlocked the cheat menu. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that actually. Yeah. Then you play Big Head mode and Golden Gun. <laughs> yes. You need Big Head mode if you're going to play with Odd Job. Mm. <laughs> Who hurt you, Terrell? Let's <laughs> name Odd Job. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, officers. It was this man right here. <laughs> I can't get a good headshot on him or anything. <laughs> I keep I have missing to aim. him. I can't because, just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have to aim with the stupid C pad. I can't just look at him and shoot. He's too short. <laughs> yeah, that that's why when you played that game with friends, you always had to have the gentleman's agreement. No, no odd, odd job. job until you and get the that one person asshole who did go odd job. You know. You, you were just like, for the next day, go back to school and be like, yeah, this guy still plays odd job. <laughs> I mean, you, you uh, only did, did it to yourself. I was say, did anybody else play any of the other James Bond games? Nope. Uh, I Actually, think no, I touched I think a I... few of them, but I don't remember which ones. I played one of them on the Wii, I think. I think it was like a GoldenEye remake or something. I was going to say the other Gold... Yeah. Rogue Agent? <laughs> what? Rogue Agent? Maybe. I don't know. I think it was that. It wasn't that good. <laughs> the other yeah, golden I think that eye. Was agent. <laughs> That's um, funny. I never Hi, played Kim that Chi. one. I just like, but um, I because I wanted to see if anybody else played everything or nothing because that game is cool. Nope. I'm, like, I have no idea. What it's that not is. even based on an actual. It's weird because it's not based on a movie because that was like the in between where they just didn't have. Any oh God, yeah, going there on. is a double I, uh, double O seven, and, everything or nothing. Um, yeah. So, but it had it actually has Pierce Brosnan as uh, James Bond. It has yeah. uh. Uh, Maya, the the singer, has one of the Bond girls. Uh, Heidi Klum is a Bond girl. <laughs> it it had it had like a it had like actual actors, and it was like real. It was, I remember it came out the same year as Metal Gear Solid Three, and it was so good. I'm gonna be like, yo, is this is this game gonna shit on Metal Gear Solid Three? <laughs> and no. then and then Metal Gear Solid Three came out and changed the game. Yeah, but Metal Gear Solid Three came months, out and became the best Metal hot. Gear. <laughs> Yeah, Metal Gear came out and became the best Metal Gear game of this all time. This is wild. Mm-hmm. How did I not play this double seven? And, and then it stayed the best Metal Gear game of all time. I'm looking <laughs> at the. I'm looking at everything or nothing, and everything or nothing is legitimately a double seven movie that you just play. Yeah, it is, dude. It, you, uh, I, I think I don't, uh, I don't. I want to say it's either that one. It's either in that one or the other one, or maybe it's in both. Uh, from Russia with Love, because they made it from Russia with Love right after. Um, you start the game. There's no menu. You start the game, and you're literally in a Bond action scene straight up. Oh, that's dope, actually. <laughs> they, they and throw you then, in. Awesome. once you take out the enemies, that's when you get the title sequence. Da-da, da-da, oh, that's so like, cool. All right. That's, I might have that's to, like, like legit like movie that. star. Yeah. I might have to, like, low-key find a way to play this game. <laughs> Yeah, bro. If, if, at, if you like have every, if you, you have you a PS2 it. or Xbox, or, I think it's on the GameCube too. If you find that, play, oh, I have a GameCube, good. so it's, I could probably. Hunt I think this it's on down. the GameCube. Not sure. 
if it's on the GameCube, it's going to be more expensive. Just so yeah, you know. yeah, 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 you're right. But, but you're oh, right. No, that game's really good. And and I just, and I mentioned uh, from Russia with Love. That one's also good. Not as good. It's also kind of weird because I think by that point, uh, Pierce Brosnan was officially not James Bond anymore. So I think that was like the in between where they just didn't have a new James Bond. So what they did was they decided to make like a sort of semi sequel. Like it uses the same engine as Everything or Nothing, mm-hmm. but they went back to an actual Bond movie, um, and they got Sean Connery. But then they actually got the voice acting done by Sean Connery, who was like seventy <laughs> at this point, playing a thirty-year-old, <laughs> and it's so weird because he's you know he's supposed to be suave, debonair, you know James Bond, and he has a grandpa voice, and I'm like, oh, this is a little this is a little weird. <laughs> but that one's a good one too. Not as good voice. as Everything or Nothing. Everything or Nothing is like super good it's it's a top tier yeah this mm. this is like again i'm i'm looking at it this looks just just like a bond movie honestly speaking i thought it was a bond movie until when i looked at the the cover for yeah. it like, yeah it looks it looks it basically like, is like they literally said i because th- it was an ea and ea was just like well if they're not going to release bond movie then we're going to make our own bond movie <laughs> with blackjack <laughs> and hookers, hookers. That's kind of like big finish with. Uh, they might actually Dr. be Who. in there. I'm not quite sure. Oh man, damn! All right, well, that's interesting. So, so real quick, I, I do want to bring this one up because we're getting close to like being done. Uh, yeah. Fucking Aeon fucks the game, man. Like Roblo, you're telling me you don't remember anything <laughs> about this game? I really don't. God man. damn it! it. Was so long ago. I that, didn't even know it had a game. It, so, and, uh, so I, I, it's probably it, uh, it's probably not that remarkable because like like uh like freaking uh, enter the matrix like i don't really remember much about it specific yeah about that's it. fair that's mm-hmm. fair because i'm in the same boat with enter the matrix that makes sense yeah so it was, yeah because it was just i remember you know what i can tell you i remember i bought it literally because i saw the movie and i'm like the movie's cool and then i saw it at circuit city <laughs> oh back when For back when bucks. that was a lie i was about to say was it five dollars it was five dollars because Circuit City used to, like, just... They would put just random games on clearance. For no reason. So, I remember getting that for five bucks. Nice. Man, yeah. Because, like... Yeah, like you said, it's like... I remember the movie. I liked the movie. I remember the cartoon show. I liked the cartoon show. But I did not know that there was a video game. At all. So, like, this one kind of, like, blindsided me on this list. But, uh... I gotta look into this one, then. Goddamn. Yeah. That's a um, that's a spicy one for me because it's like I yeah. wish I, <laughs> I just want, I kind of wish I played. I just want to say I found this really cool shirt uh, while looking up the Aeon Flux video game. Uh, it's a shirt that says "All I care about is Aeon Flux" and maybe like three people and <laughs> pizza. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's for you now. <laughs> I I don't know why it popped up. I guess it's because you know looking up the video game. It's because relevant. you kept talking about Aeon Flux, and now now the overlords are like, oh, I guess he really likes Aeon Flux and pizza, <laughs> and these three fucks that he's doing a podcast. With. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god, that's wow, true. Wow, that's and so I had, meta. And I had pizza for dinner today. That is yeah, so exactly. meta. Your Google overlords just just made that custom for you for this yep. very moment. Like I'm like no one else is gonna be able to find this except for me until yeah, you it like doesn't even until exist, you bro. That link does not go anywhere if it's if it's. Did, sent where did, where to did you post else. this? Or did you not post the link? Oh man, that's funny as shit though. What the hell? <laughs> he posts a link and it just never loads up. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I'm I'm googling for this shirt and I can't find it. Yeah. Do you want me to send you the link? Yeah, yeah, please. I gotta see this. I just right, have to see put, this. <laughs> All of our computers is shut off. Yeah. <laughs> Podcast shuts down. I there just, I just I won't believe this until I see. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe like Click. three people. It means, this is funny as shit. It is the most random shirt, and I kind of want. You can get it. it. Oh, you can friend. get it on a you mug. You should have deleted that link as soon as it popped up. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can get it on a mug. You can get a, a dog gator. shirt. You can get a neck gator. <laughs> you can get it on a dog sweater. That's ridiculous. You can get it on yeah. a tote bag, an apron. <laughs> no, you're getting a dog itself with this on it. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Tattoo it on your dog. You're gonna get a baby one piece. 
this is a uh, wow i cannot believe that this this that that's exists. funny as hell oh man uh getting back to the but like oh the our internet overlords aside uh <laughs> freddie you i know i i need to hear about the godzilla game you were talking about earlier. all right godzilla because uh... i because i've always heard of it i've seen it in uh blockbuster before yeah. but i've never actually played it uh, destroy all monsters melee is <gasps> one of my favorites i remember that game i didn't play He's much so of it, but i remember that Fred? game what's up did you ever play the sequels no but because right, I have I have both of them I have, I have um, yeah, Godzilla I, saves the world and Godzilla unleashed. That's right. He How does German suplex somebody. It's the same game. They're just okay. better. It's oh, are they really? Because yeah, like, I it, heard they weren't so, as good. So you remember? It, it was like you know, it's like the wrestling games where you know, for, yeah. for, you know, every year is just slightly better. Mm-hmm. But it's unless the same you get to like twenty nineteen. Yeah. No, you know what. <laughs> Your so Godzilla uh, Destroy All Monsters is basically um, it's the WrestleMania 18 okay. on the GameCube. Okay. And then uh, I think Un no Unleash was the third one. So Saves the World is the so that one is Day of Reckoning. Okay. <laughs> and then Unleash is Day of Reckoning too. Mm. Technically, wrestling games are licensed games. <laughs> yes, that that is true. Actually, yeah, that yeah. is very fair. We could go. I could go into that. Like no Day Marvel. of Two is really good. There's only one wrestling game I really ever played. It was the one for the N64. Yeah, No, no Mercy. Mercy. <laughs> yeah. Unless unless you played one of the older ones. Uh, I mean, you know uh, what? If you uh, only ever Ro- played, Warzone? Actually, you know what? On the N64, I no, don't play Warzone. Oh, Warzone was yeah, horrible. Don't play an one. Was it was it like a good one or was it a shit one? Oh, WrestleMania 2000 is one that, as well. Yeah, that was the one uh, I had at first, and yeah, I didn't have No had, Mercy for the longest time. No Mercy was so much fun. Then there was yeah. someone who um, skinned it online, and you could download oh, it. it was, I yeah. also played uh, and then modified WCW like and NWO Revenge. Okay, okay, that was the same engine, so yeah. it was just yeah. Yeah, you played Destroy All Monsters <laughs> Melee. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, uh, all right. So I pretty much played the same thing, except it's with the same big, game, except big sweaty it was man, except instead of dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. And I'll have to go Cold find out the other Stone ones Cold. then, because I never played those, but. I guess because I right. played it had Sting, and that's all who I really cared about back then. Yeah. Yo, f- side story. Here we uh, go. Sting is in AEW. I know, bro. I I was hype. I was watching it, and I was like, oh my god, this is this is it. This is. I wasn't. I, was I didn't get a chance to watch it. I am so glad because I, I I was not going to like I because I keep forgetting to watch things, and then I had nothing to do uh, Wednesday, mm-hmm. and I was like, I'm gonna watch this, and I. Like, because I, I ended up missing the first, like, half hour or so. Yeah. But I watched it, and then Sting, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Which, Kenny Omega going to Impact. That, I, bro, that, that whole, that whole show was great. It was, it was crazy. Uh, I saw bits and pieces of it, but I didn't see the whole thing. It's yeah. It's actually impacts happening right, right now. now. It's almost over, I think. Yeah, <laughs> this very moment. So Damn it! it does, now, impact now is every, taking our client, our, our viewers. <laughs> the whole. Le, no one's watching it right now. This is all pre-recorded. Uh, damn. In front of a live studio audience. Studio audience. <laughs> In front of a live studio ostrich. Gotcha. Ah. <laughs> So Eddie, uh, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a nice a, a nice soft curveball. Okay. Licensed anime games. Ooh. Oh, okay. I want. I'm gonna start off by saying, um, Genshin is not licensed. No, no. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not talking about Genshin. It's fine. I won't bring it there. Um, so when they started coming out with the Dragon Ball Z Budokai series, like for mm. PlayStation Two, uh, I bought literally every Dragon Ball Z game. From the first one to when they were doing even Tenkaichi and other ones. But I realized after like maybe the seventh iteration <laughs> that they're all the same fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. W- way to go. Way to go, Pete. You, you I was essentially like, know what it's like I, buying a wrestling game every year now. Yeah, I or, was like, after that, after, after I or realized it's, it's any like sports the based only, game. Like, the only thing they ever changed was, like, the overworld of how you go get from point A to point B, mm-hmm. because the first one was just a menu. Click on the... On, the on first the one ch- was great, because you no, played the fine. show. Yeah. 
It was the actual show, and I was fine with that. Yeah. And then, and then like second one had but, that dumb map i hated yeah the the, the map where you had to jump around and like strategically place yourself jump and up, you had to up. go through the entire game multiple times because if you chose one path you got to get these certain items and if you chose the other path you had to fight different people yeah and didn't you have to find dragon balls on the map yes you like... had to find them on the map and if you didn't find all the dragon balls on your game uh, on the playthrough, you didn't get the dragon. Yeah, I remember. You had to go through rocket. again. I hated the story mode for the second one. It was. You I, know what it I had thought? The cool graphics though. It had like cel shaded graphics, so they, it looked cool. But I was not about that one. I thought the. I think it was the third one. I'm not sure. It was where you just play as Goku flying around the world. I kind of liked that one because you could find little secret stuff. Like I remember, like like later on, like in, during the game, like. Like it's like, huh? You're supposed to go over here, but you can also go over here. What's that? Like, you, and then you find out Broly's there for no reason. I'm like, and you just shit your pants and then die. <laughs> mm. I don't think I, I. I feel like I did play it, but I have no memory of three at all. So now I'm curious if I actually did ever have Budokai three. They're all like I said. They're all pretty much the same. They blend together after a while. Yeah, I I, I know I never played any of the ten Tenkaichi's. Like, I haven't. I haven't heck. either. I haven't, two or three yeah. was my last like. Played of one the... of them. I can't remember. In terms of uh, in terms of licensed uh, I don't even know if this started as a video game. No, also, it didn't I start as Xenoverse. a video game. Dot hack. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, technically I, no. I, I had a feeling I, I will that talk about dot hack all day if we can, because that uh, game came first. But it was like it was it was kind of the thing like the Matrix where they already had an idea. No, the game didn't come first. An extended universe. Yeah. No, I, I'm pretty sure the game came first. No. Because the game was supposed to be the introduction into all the animes and stuff. Dot hack sign came out before the game dropped and came out to because dot hack sign I think was out like. Maybe a few, gonna, a few or so. Look I'm looking this up, this up right now. Yeah. <laughs> you look it up, right, uh, and and we'll get back to you on that. Infection was June 2002 in Japan. All right, and Die Hack Sign, January, February, March, April, May. Sign. Yeah, Sign came out on April 4th of 2002. Oh. All right, we're talking about that hack, boys. <laughs> oh, I say, don't don't at me on this one. It still I, I, counts. I, the, you know what? I, it I, just, I'm backing it just up. Me, it just I'm means backing it count, down right now, master. It just means that it counts more so now in the topic yeah. of what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, because oh, I because yeah. right, I remember watching hack. Sign and pretty much finishing Sign, like close to if not before I played um the first dot hack game on the PS2. Because I remember watching Sign from like start to finish, and then like <gasps> they made a video game, picked up the video game, start playing the video game. Holy shit, that video game's in death. And then by the time you get to Dot Hack Three, by the time they came out with either <laughs> three in, or they finished, the Sign characters are <clears throat> in there. Yeah, and it's like by the time they either finished three or it was about to drop four, I caught wind of an MMO. Actually, no. I think it was like after they finished that whole lot of one to four. For yeah, the after they finished that series. Yeah, somewhere in between, the, I caught wind of an MMO and that never came out here. Yeah, it never came out here. That I think that went for like a few years, while at the same time we had GU come out. Yeah. So yeah, I remember. I, I never played GU at the time, but I I did get the uh, the re uh, the re release on the PS4. I need to get. That was two years ago. I I want them. It was it was probably around two years ago. I'm, I I I kind of remember because I was because you ordered for it you. for me. Exactly. I didn't have Prime at the time. <laughs> yeah. I want them to come out and do a whole collection for one two for like the first four games. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Like I need them I to do. Like I bought GU. All four I was hyped for GU because I, I never played them. If they do the if they do the original series, I'll still buy it because I I will I will throw money at it and hope he will support it. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like that was like the biggest reason why I bought like the Dot Hack manga that that takes place like well after the game. Yeah, I have a bunch of the Dot um, mangoes too. I like I just like Dot Hack was such a good thing in Dot in like in my books. Dot Hack was the very first like getting stuck in a video game thing. It was literally the very first. I'm stuck in a video game. What fuck do I do? Isekai. Yeah, it, no, it wasn't the first Eeks. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I mean, the fr- they kind of they, they, they were it's a coma. An They were like ninety percent. Yeah, dead. I would say it's an Isekai, <laughs> but it wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's the first. I would say it's one of the original set of Isekais. <laughs> I want like I'll just point out that I'm pretty sure for me. 
the first I'm stuck in a video game game that I played was uh, Digimon for PlayStation. Yeah. Where mm-hmm. where Digimon you world. That's right? Yeah. yeah. Oh right. Where world you like you get a Digimon and you can train him. You can even make him eat his own shit, and then he'll just die. <laughs> Blomp. Eat shit and die. Yep. Pretty just much. Like in life. Jesus. Yeah. That game was so hard, I hated it. It is. But Dude, I bro, kept I playing it. I couldn't stop I, playing it. Bro, little baby Roblo Jr. had the guide, and I still never got anything except a Numamon or a Sukumon. <laughs> All right, it wasn't until it's... I replayed that game a few years back that I actually, like, I'm like, how do I get anything? And I As think an adult, we can I sort of get, get through this. Monochromon. And I wasn't even looking for one of him. I was trying to get another Digimon, and the game was just like, ah, no, you get, you get that one. I'm like, <laughs> it, it's like I, random and dumb, and I hated it, but I still couldn't stop playing it. Yeah, yeah. I played a little bit of that. Didn't really finish it. Um, it, it, it was it was so nobody obscure. finished it, Freddy. Yeah. No, so I'm saying I didn't finish it either. <laughs> That's what I'm saying because I, yeah. I rented it from Blockbuster. God. Okay, yeah, then you super didn't finish no, it. No, I. If you guys ever played the like Digimon World two or three, because none of the none of the four Digimon World games followed any sort of like. So no coherent play style. So if you played any of those, they were completely different. Two and three are actually really good. I still need to finish Cyber Sleuth because I didn't know that. I was about to say Cyber I Sleuth to, is yeah, super good. Like Cyber, yeah. super good. Cyber Sleuth that. is great. I, yeah. I'm, I, I'm going to restart because I, I bought it for the Switch. So I have not played. The I have it on one. my PS4. I need to. I need to continue playing it. Like I, I'm, it, I'm at a point sure where I good. think I don't know what to do, but I know what to do. But it's like. <laughs> that game doesn't hold your hand say, in some of those quests, man. Like, no, uh, no. No. I I do want to say that it is a little difficult because a lot of it is like, you know, like when you're fighting one Digimon versus another and it's like type against type or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I can't tell. It's really hard. To I've know, learned. You know, I've, I've figured it out. Colors, I don't know how to explain it, but I did you know, figure it out. Like, like the whole thing is like a lot of it's also color based. I yeah. can't. And like the, the whole. Cha- glasses. I, I can't wear them indoors. It doesn't help. Is Monster Rancher based? <gasps> I think Monster Rancher was game first, right? No. I couldn't tell you. Monster mm-hmm. Rancher was show first, then game, I think. So it counts, then. Let's I'm, just say. I'm, I'm looking at this right now, because this one, I it might actually be. It might be, first. but I think... Um, I think we'll still talk about it anyway. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a couple of July minutes. July 97 for, for, the, for game. the game. All right, give me a second. I'm pulling up the TV series right now. Oh, 99. 99. Okay, dude. so it was game first. Okay. Because I was yeah. like, I remember uh, this, but I remember right. getting the game after Rob, this. Rob, you got 60 seconds. Go. Monster Rancher is great. The fucking... <laughs> the game? It the is. game or the show? <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it like, is. I like, you know what? I, I'm not going to... Quick, quick side about the show. Like, even, even as a kid, like, I remember watching... Digimon, Pokemon, and Monster Rancher, because they were all at the same time. Yeah. Monster Rancher and, and Digimon were so much more interesting as a show than Pokemon. Yeah. Because Pokemon was about this kid who just never fails at anything, and it was just, like every episode no, he, just became predictable. Are you talking Whereas, about he fails at everything? everything. He, he, Ash sucks. He fails at all the big events. He doesn't, like, throughout the whole show, he doesn't fail, and then at the very end, it's like, oh, here's the final gym. The leader. only and thing he like, ever. Oh, I guess my fucking Charizard's thing that... not going to listen to me conveniently. <laughs> Uh, the only thing that Ash can't fail at is friendship, and I hate it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Digimon has freaking Myotismon trying to murder people in the, the real world. world. Yeah, and, and Monster Rancher, no, literally, that's that's an isekai right there because mm-hmm. he, he he was transported to a faraway <laughs> planet to a world where monsters rule. Wait, was that you know the why? intro? Because he played a game like yeah. an ace, and now he's in this place to save the monsters. How, from the evil moon. How did you remember right, the Rob. intro? You mad? Man. Get out. First off, get out of here. Second off, your minute is up. Yo, <laughs> that was dope as shit, Roblo. Uh, yeah. Uh, one anime I, game I do want to bring up. It's it's uh, Naruto, Broken Bond. Oh, uh, I haven't played that one. I it played um, so good. the other. I really enjoyed the the, the Naruto Nar- games are actually really really good. Yeah, yeah, they put actual effort into those games. Like it look not only does it look good, it plays good. Oh, so like, nice. Like cuz what and it really upsets me because like the Jump series games suck. Mhm. Like the multiplayer is absolute dog shit. The story is just like 
Oh, that was the Ubisoft bare, one. Bare bones, and I'm and then Naruto fucking comes out of here with like, like, with a fabulous, beautiful blaze jacket, and he's just like singing Queen, and like <laughs> that's not what's really happening, but I'm just like being like facetious right now. But still, like the game is fantastic. Why can't other anime games get on their game? Oh, seriously? Oh no, I don't know. Oh, I gotta oh, find no. this. I was going to say, it wasn't because I'm looking, and I remember that was back when, because I never paid attention to Naruto, but yeah. I remember, like, because they, they had the Xbox had one series, the GameCube, and we had its own. Yeah, and Clash of Ninja, I think it own. was. Yeah. And it's weird because the only ones I ever had any hands on time was the, uh, the, the, the Ultimate Ninja Storm. The, mm-hmm. That's it. One, that's the, it. The one yeah. that ended up winning out. Yeah, yeah Ninja Storm. That and was I hate, the one. I hate it. Which uh, it's made by it's made by dot hack people, and I feel like I should support them. So maybe they'll make dot hack games. But you know what, Rob? It's games. okay because I supported them. <laughs> I, yeah, I bought, yeah, I bought the Ninja Storm trilogy. I still need to replay. I need to play it. Like I also liked like that it actually went through the story with mm-hmm. without fucking filler, oh, which God, Naruto yeah. is like one of those animes really known for. There's so only, it's just there's like only oh, one man. good episode of filler in Naruto. What? trying to figure out what's behind Kakashi's mask. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's like the only one I ever cared about. I wanted to see what you were going to say. <laughs> like, but th- what makes me sad is that's not really canon, so I, I know. wonder what's really behind his yeah, mask. Yeah, w- that was, like, oh, that, that's definitely what I wish was canon. It was just like, please. <laughs> All these wild theories, God please. Freddy. <laughs> Terrell, there was a dot .hack phone game that never came out here. What? You know, I just remembered. Uh, I'm looking at my list, and uh, your Popeye. No, my my uh, list of games that I was thinking of, uh, and uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, Never played it. I love that game when it came out, um, but I do remember it being like a very simple piece of trash, though. Mm-hmm. Cause- because it's like it was made for two year olds, if I think about it, because it was just very straightforward. Yeah. Um, even though the things you did gave you quote unquote points to Gryffindor, you as long as you just did the main story, you couldn't lose. Not only that, there's one thing I remember, um, which was in the game at the end, when you go into the dungeon to go and try to find the Sorcerer's Stone, like like you know the part in the movie where Neville tries to stop them, but bef- just before they go in, don't remember. I've seen the movies like once, and I never read any- the books. <laughs> anyway, there's there's one scene like just before they go into the to the caverns or whatever to okay t- to the labyrinth to go and get it, like and go through the trials of Cerberus and the and the Ooh. chess pieces and stuff. You had to actually do all that, but. There was a problem because there was a safe spot just before you go into the dungeon, mm-hmm. and that was the last save spot. Oh. Like I don't know if I had this. Pro- I don't know if I was the only one who had this problem, but if I sit when I saved there and I went into the dungeon when I beat it, it would take me back there, and I couldn't go back anywhere else. So mm. all I can do when I beat the game was go through the final dungeon one more time. <laughs> And I was uh, just like, well, that game was uh, is spent. Before we wrap up, there's two more I just want to mention. Okay. Anything Lego. Oh, God, like, yeah, anything Lego. I'll honestly. Agree. I agree. How are these games always so good? I agree. Yeah, they're, they're, tr- they, they, they don't try. They don't try enough. Well, yeah. They, yeah. Yeah, they don't try, but they try enough. Like, they're not here to, like, innovate they're, and try crazy yeah. stuff. Simple. They're just like, here is a good, here's a good basic game. We already have the layout. We're just gonna skin, skin you know, Pirates of the Caribbean or the Avengers yeah. or DC or Simpsons or anybody it's that was involved in the formula that, that Lego over and universe, over, but it's or still whatever fun. it was called. You know what? It's pretty much also it's pretty much a platformer. Mm-hmm. Like I played the, I, uh, I will say the one I played the most. Like I did play Star Wars Episode One, mm-hmm. uh, Two, and Three. Like the thing, like you know, they had the whole yeah 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 compendium of them, like. I played that a lot, and to me, thinking about it, it's a platformer, and like not in the sense of like it's like a, ha- it's like an N sixty four style platform. Okay, yeah, I can see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, because the whole thing is like you can pretty much not platform and just breeze through the game, but if you wanted to collect everything, yeah. like you had to jump around, jump, 
jump around and get jump down. up, jump up, get down. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, and uh, to get to get everything, which I will say was really fun because as a Jedi, you got like that super high jump in the game. But and it was and you know what? To be honest, it was better than Star Wars Episode One adaption of the movie video <laughs> game, which was like like floaty. I can't hit anyone. Never with a played lightsaber. it. So. I usually didn't play Star Wars games because a lot of them were just. The, there was one. <laughs> there was one Star Wars game that I love. Um, Star, which it, it's funny because people hate it, and Ooh. I and I oh. love it. I Star thought you were going to say the N sixty four one, but no, I'm it, curious. No, yeah, that, that's the one I was talking about. Empire Strikes Back. People like that one, dude. No, like everyone who I talk to hates it. Yeah, I, like not, they say it's because the controls are wonky, and like it's That's not. You you use the alien controller from the <laughs> yeah. sixty four to play it. And like people, like people always, whenever I bring this up to anyone, like just in general, they're like, "Oh, I couldn't. Like, game was too hard, and the controls were weird, and I couldn't get past like the second stage." Uh, and I'm just like, you "Fucking suck. You all suck." Like I love that suck. game. Wait, is it? So 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 Rob, it's a good game then. You can agree with me. I I, I think it's fine, right? You know what? I've you know what I've never done. I've never actually looked online what people think of it. I'm gonna do that right now before we finish. So if anyone, so while I and, do uh, that, if anyone wants to, I have one more talk, game. Go for it. I'm I'll surprised if you didn't bring it up before. I'm Scott have Pilgrim. One right after. Oh, oh yeah, it's coming. shit! It's coming back. <laughs> shit! Uh, January. We, what it was? How it? did we miss that 16th? one? Sixteenth. How did we Something miss like that, that one? Yeah, it was on my list. It was on the top of it, so I just wasn't paying attention to it. Yeah. But, uh, Damn. Yeah. yeah, that was a good game. I the thing that would have made it better is because I know I didn't like at the time of that game coming out. I didn't have a lot of people that were like, I guess, into Scott Pilgrim. Is that like? It sucks that that game was just only a couch co-op when it first dropped. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, when it first. Because eventually it put out online DLC, but the DLC on that was so... The first two packs came out soon, and then the online pack came out like three years after the base game yeah. did. And then by then, nobody cared. Yeah. I still bought it. Oh, I, think that was I, I got that. the title. I got the title wrong. It's Shadow of the Empire. Oh, it's, see, I was like, I'm like, what the fuck? There's no Empire Strikes Back game. Yeah, sorry. I, I Shad- didn't mean it. Yeah, but... like even even you were mistaken. Shadows of the Empire. That was like, why can't I find it? Uh, <laughs> let me see. Apparently, no. It's got a seven out of ten on Steam, a four point two out of five on GameStop, a six point five out of ten on IGN. It's got a 6 out of 10 from Nintendo Life. Anyway, it's apparently all over the place, it seems. Yeah. Regardless, everyone who I talk to um, says they hate it. Uh, also, audience reviews here like are, that are, are coming up immediately. Like, this is a good example of a game with a very good story. However, it suffers from terrible gameplay and a small number of hard levels. Bitch, get good. <laughs> like, I remember, like... We went over to our friend Jen and George's house back when they still lived here, and uh, they pulled out board games and dropped that on the floor, and I was like, yo, you got this game? And they're like, oh, yeah, but I never got past the second stage. Same thing. And I was just like, I was like, yo, I, I took that game out, and I like got him to like sixth stage within like a couple hours while they all played board games. <laughs> you were like, let me show you how the master does it. It was I. I was just like, oh man, it's so fun. I remember it just like it was yesterday. Clunky controls and all, but I still had fun. Because <laughs> the thing is, like, yeah, it's very floaty because he like, like if you jump with him, he like hovers almost. It's funny. I think that's the thing that, and we're at the tail end of this, so I'm just going to throw in two cents here. I think that's the thing that like we that game or developers, some developers forget to a degree where it's like, no, we want to put out a game that sells well like by any means necessary well it's not gonna sell well if it's not fun it could be the jankiest piece of shit but if a lot of people have fun with that game that's that's a good game edf edf exactly exactly my oh my god i have edf5 and it's like the jankiest piece it's the jankiest thing ever but it's so much fun and and it's just like for at least for EDF, I want the jank. Yes. Like when when they re- when they like oh we're releasing you know because I have uh, EDF 
uh, I have the EDF four on the PS3, and then they released four point one on the PS4, and I'm like, I would rather play four because it has more jank. But then I think four point one has like the fake Godzilla yes. in it, so I'm like, eh, I kind of want to get into yeah, that. Yeah, four point one has the fake Godzilla. I want the jank. I want this. I want massive slowdown when I destroy half the city. I want that. Give me the jank. I'll go back to play. Uh, was it 2017 on the 360? Because that one's pure jank. Ooh. That was like the first one that they got big on. Yeah. But that that. One. But yeah, no prime example. It's just like, is that then you got like fucking Shadow, Shadow of the Empire, or whatever it was, where it's just like, yeah, that could be janky, but people have fun with it. That's the important thing. Yeah. If a game is fun, that's the important thing. That's how that's yeah, how it yeah. gets out there because more people are gonna talk about it. And some of the games, and again going to jump back to edf some of the games people are going to be talking about the jank and how much fun the jank is yeah so i mean sometimes sometimes the jank is game. the yeah. feature like when grant uh uh grand theft auto first came out grand the cops was three was jank <laughs> <laughs> people love that game no i love that game it's so stupid <laughs> yeah and if you go back to it now you're just like what the fuck <laughs> i mean listen we didn't know better i mean it's all we had Games get better as I mean, time goes on. Time, that's how games kinda, should be. I knew it was kind of jank, but I was st- all I didn't. All I cared about was getting my star rating up. Yeah. Like I didn't even play the story in GTA Three. I never got off. The no, first I, island. I, I, th- I think I think you know. I think over, I think overall I enjoyed San Andreas more though. Yeah, but because you could swim to the other <laughs> islands without ever <laughs> having to do the story. <laughs> But yeah, so anyway, we're pretty much at that mid, that hour forty. I actually yeah. have two quick ones that I just want to throw in. All right, we can do two quick right. ones. All one right. because I'm Might literally well. looking at Mad Max on the PS4. I don't know if any of you guys. Mm. Know oh, I haven't played it, but I did watch. It, but I know about it. That game's really good. It's made by the Just Cause people. Oh, so mm. it's like this huge open world and everything, and the, and it's huge. It's a massive. G- the thing is, after you play the first like the first section, it's the sa- it's it has open world syndrome. You know. It's the same game over and over and over mm. again, but until you get bored of it, it's so good. Like the the car combat is great when you actually have to go in and infiltrate little hideouts and everything. It uses the Batman, uh, the Arkham Asylum combat. It's just visceral. Like you're suplexing guys, you're like breaking arms. And it's <laughs> that just, just sounds awesome. Actually, it, it is. Yeah. So, is, this the, is this the is this the one where really you can cut? Is this the one where you can customize your your uh, car as well to make it like? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so you keep. You, oh, yeah, you I heard. Yeah, I did. I did. System and everything. Yeah, I did hear about this then. And the final upgrade is to get the V8 because he's all about getting that V8 engine in his car. <laughs> like you have to start with like a puny ass V6, and it's just like. Oh, actually, you might have to start with a four cylinder. I don't even remember. Ooh, but, man, um, you gotta work your way oh, up. But that game is really good. And but like I said, what it's if you if that game clicks with you, you can play it forever. If it doesn't click with you, you're just gonna get tired of it because it's. You know, every mission is just doing the same. It's, 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 it's not Ubisoft, but it's a Ubisoft. You know what I'm saying? I, um, I kind of get what you're saying. Uh, the other one was uh, Jackie Chan Adventures on the Game Boy Advance. Ooh, I know oh, I'm alone on this. Yeah. One. I, I have, I not, have played not played that. that, but I, you have told me. About I didn't this even know before. that was yeah. on the uh, Game Boy. Yeah, yeah. it's didn't it was, was it thing. was like it might have been it was really early. I don't think it was launched, but it was within the first couple of months because it was one of the first games I got for it. Um, and it's just it's just a side scrolling beat 'em up, but it's hmm. just, it's just really good. Nothing, just nothing special. I mean, it's not gonna blow the world away yeah. but at the time like it, it looks like the game. cartoon yeah it looks like the cartoon does oh nice that's good that's so good. It, like e- even though it's even though it's a game boy advanced side scroller like it just it looks like the cartoon you know you could do you unlock moves so you could do like crazy like hurricane kicks and stuff <laughs> it's just like yeah all right that, that's it that's all i got those those th- like that was because I'm literally looking at Mad Max, and then for whatever reason, Mad Max made me trigger Jackie Chan Adventures. <laughs> because they're so alike. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. Well, well, one guy, you know, hurricane kicks, and the other one gets cars. All right. So that is the oh, uh, oh, oh kitten on the, the lap. end of the podcast. Kitten on the lap. Kitten on the lap. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought you had like a last minute like. Ugh. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, no. Thought, Kim Chi so wanted too. to jump up on my lap, but I was like, oh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> So, uh, anyone have a, uh, just want to go through and just name off one game everyone should play? Monster Rancher. Monster, Monster Rancher. Rancher. 
Um, Did you want one? <laughs> one? <laughs> Yo, uh, for whoever hasn't, you should really go check out the uh, the Shadow of the Empire. It's really good. I'm gonna say the Ghostbusters, the video game from mid 2000s. Oh yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, Oh, well, it was mid two thousands, right? Because they said a re-release if, recently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if, that, if, if we're gonna go two thousand, I guess it would have been late because it was PS three, so yeah. it's either late two thousands or early twenty tens. It is. I will tell you in one second, just so we have this information down. Uh, oh nine. Well, yeah, it did get re-released. Oh nine. Okay. Okay. You if we're gonna just throw out like games that we uh, didn't discuss that we that yeah. we're recommending. I recommend Monsters Inc. That was a really fun game that me and hmm. my brother. Like one hundred percented because you can two player that. Okay. I was I was always Sully because I'm a giant and Andrew was Mike Wazowski because he's shorter than me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that is the end of the podcast. I want to thank you all for listening and uh, make sure you subscribe and follow and like and all the good stuff. And all that fun care, stuff. Spike like your, your hair. hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Let me just do a goddamn end card. You. Savages. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. You know it, bro. When will Godzilla's anticipated rematch occur? Will Marvel Avengers make a recovery? And what will all licensed video games' future genre be? Find out next time on the podcast. <laughs>